Whew. All right. Well, good morning. Audio is going to be a way off. God. All right, here we are. It's the morning, and uh, it's a little foggy outside, and uh, so I thought I would do a little run run in the old Brooks Carbonite jacket. Anyway, when I come back, I would like to talk about camera settings. Um, for the longest time, I was sort of afraid to use my DLSR uh, outside of auto mode. And so lately, I have been diving into the deep and putting everything into manual mode. And I can tell you, having done that, my video quality, I mean, it's hard to tell, but my, I feel like my video quality has improved greatly. And it's just three simple steps. And I'm going to share that with you guys after I get back from the run. So let's go for a run. So when it comes to taking your camera out of auto mode and putting it into manual mode, there are three easy steps that you should always follow. Step number one, adjust your ISO and set it first. ISO can be used to adjust the light levels in your photography or video. When it comes to ISO, the rule of thumb is if you're outside in a really sunny environment, you probably wanna stick around an ISO of about 100. If you're inside, you can adjust your levels all the way up to 32,000, depending on the model of your camera. You can see in this video, I am inside. I'm adjusting my ISO levels to an appropriate setting. Once again, here's another video of me outside adjusting my ISO levels one more time. And you can see that the lower I set it, the better it is for that setting because there's more natural light. Step number two, adjust your shutter speed. The rule of thumb is to set your shutter speed for two times your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 29.9 or 30 frames per minute, your shutter speed should be 1 60th. If you're shooting action or a lot of movement, you may wanna increase your shutter speed. And if you're doing a lot of this talking head kind of things, then your shutter speed can be set to pretty much double your frame rate without any sort of issues. Now, as far as aperture, this is physically going to control how much light enters through your lens. So the smaller the number, in my case, my kit lens goes to 3.5. The aperture is open at its widest and is letting the most amount of light in. My kit lens goes to an aperture of f22, which makes the aperture much smaller and allows less light in. If you're looking for that good depth of feel, 3.5 and lower is pretty good setting. Right now my camera's at 3.5 and it's sort of capturing just me and the background is kind of fuzzy. Is it? There we go, I just adjusted it. So now you can see it kind of like blurs out the background. If you're shooting an outdoor setting or you're trying to capture more in your photo without any sort of blur, you wanna set your aperture to a higher setting. So F22 or F16, that area. If you're shooting landscape and you don't want anything blurred out, F16 to F22 is typically a pretty good setting. One of the things to note is your aperture controls physically how much light enters the lens and your ISO is the digital enhancement. So if you're using a 3.5 setting on your aperture, you wanna go for a lower ISO setting or it's gonna at least require a lower ISO setting. If your aperture is set to 22, for instance, your ISO setting is going to be much higher. So the same indoor scene, if I shoot at 3.5, right now I have my ISO set to about 1600. But if I were to change my aperture to F22, I'd probably have to set my ISO well above 1600 just to achieve the same lighting levels that I have now. And that's it. It seems pretty simple and it took me a little bit of time to kind of really grasp this, but it's really broken down into three simple settings. ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. And once you get pretty good with it, you're really not gonna screw around too much with your shutter speed. So basically, once you have your shutter speed kind of ironed out, the only thing that remains is your ISO and aperture. And you can play around with these to kind of adjust your levels to see what works for your image. 
My Canon EOS M3 has a little digital meter that shows whether or not my exposure is high or low. And if you really want, you can have your histogram showing and the histogram is a graphical setting of your exposure and it shows your highlights and your darks. I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of that stuff because that's a whole nother video altogether, but I thought I would just share my three easy tips to take your camera off manual mode to shoot video. Adjust your ISO, adjust your shutter speed, and adjust your aperture. That's it, I'll see you guys on the next one.